What is up folks, Bristing Gaming here showing you guys how to download and use the 7 Days to Die mod launcher tool that was created by Sphere. And this is by far and away the best way to download and manage overhauls and modlets. Now, I get asked regularly, how do I install mods or how do I download these mods and stuff like that. And I've always linked my past video of how to do it, but this tool eliminates a lot of the work and makes everything just super flow and super intuitive. My wife Lunabug is not as tech savvy as I am. So when it comes to managing modlets and stuff for her, I use this tool for her and just kind of let her pick and play what she likes. And it works fantastically well for her. So I'm going to show you guys how to use it. And to get to the to get to the tool, all you have to do is just click the description of the video because I've got a link to both the forums page and the GitHub page for the direct download. And I also have a link for Sphere's Discord. So if you have any issues, if I can't help you, you can contact Sphere there and hopefully be able to find a solution. So what we're going to do is here on the GitHub page, we're just going to go ahead and click the 7 days to die mod launcher.exe because we're not using Linux. So it's going to go ahead, pull up, we're going to click save. It's going to let it do its download thing. And then we're going to come to our download folder, double click on it, bring it up. So this is just Windows saying, hey, we don't know what it is. We're going to click more info and run anyway because it's just running through Unity. And then this is just saying, hey, are you sure? Yes, we're sure. We're going to let it run and do its thing. And then this is just saying we need to give it control so it can access the drives and do its stuff. And we're just going to click install. And then once it's finished... We're just going to finish and let it launch for us. And it's going to pull up. And it might hang up just a little bit around this area. It usually does for me just because it seems like it's trying to find the, the way through all your different drives and stuff. But usually about 10, 15 seconds is the average, sometimes longer. All right, so here we go. This is what the mod launcher default page looks like. And as you see, you've got a lot of different icons here. So you've got the Discord link, you've got mod launcher's website, and then you can donate as well because Siri puts a lot of personal time into this. And this is just a fantastic tool. So if you don't have any games here, any listings showing anything here, what you can do is you can click add defaults and it's going to search through your drives and try to find copies of the game. If it doesn't, you can click add game and then like I've got different versions here, just different ones that I've gone through and like, you know what, I'm going to test these mods, I'm going to test this, so like the purgatory. So... All you have to do is like click and we'll say copy address this text and we can just say up here purgatory copy and paste it there and then click save and what it's going to do is it's going to go through and load it pull it up bam now purgatory is going to show there so if we wanted to play this version of the game all we have to do is click play but right now I've got sorcery installed because I'm going to show, you know, play around how to do stuff. So what you do is you click here and you click add overhaul. And it lets you pull up all these different overhauls that are installed in the game. All these different ones. So you can just click one. Like if you wanted to do back to origins, you can click this and then click download. I'm not sick of the video time i don't want it to stretch you know 10-15 minutes because the um, download time could take a long time but what we're going to click back over here and then you can select through you can do local mods which is kind of like the vanilla version or we can click back to sorcery to show the overhaul and then you can click a version of sorcery so if we don't want to play the latest if we wanted to play this one we could just click download we don't want to do that we're going to leave it with the latest so that's how we're going to do it and then now to add modlets, what we're going to do is just click add modlets. And we're going to pull up, and we already have some installed, but let's say you want to find more. So what you do is you just click, well, we skipped a step. I'm sorry. We need to click refresh modlets first. Now we're going to click more, and then we're going to click mod launcher. And this will pull up a list of all the, all the mods. And it's taking longer than normal. Yeah, 
It should just be populating really quickly, and I don't understand why it's not. All right, it took a lot longer than it normally does. I don't understand why it took so long, um, but these are all the internal modlets that you can find inside the launcher. So you see we've got pretty much all of the NPC pack stuff, um, Aurora, Giggle Fairies, HUD+, Plus, a whole bunch of other little modlets. You've got the Kane GB's mods. So like, let's just say we want the Kane GB's 12-slot crafting queue, a mod that I've already covered. You see it's... Downloading, now it's searching. So we've got that. So we don't want all of these mods because sometimes it does that. When you click on one, it downloads a pack. We only want the 12 slot crafting queue and the 30 slot forge or the three slot forge. So we're just going to click enable on the crafting queue and then enable on the forge. So there we go. And then you see we've also got the Aurora Giga Fairy, HUD Plus, and stuff like that. So Let's say that those, that's not enough. You want more mods. So, okay, that's fine. So you click on this, and then you click on 7 Days to Die Mods. And it pulls up 7 Days to Die, seven days to die Mods. So now we can go through, and we can find mods. Just pick whatever mods you want. We're actually just going to go ahead and click the Teleportal Mod, just because why not? And I understand it's Teleport, not Teleportal, but I like to say Teleportal because it's funny to me. But now we're going to click on Nexus because we want to find something from Nexus. So we're going to come here, click on New This Week, and then the Random Wild Crops just because it's one I've already covered. And then we're just going to click Manual, and then we're going to let it download. So to come back to here, and then we're going to click Open Modlet Folder. So this is the Modlet folder that has all of those modlets installed. Now, as you see, I've already got the random regrowing wild crops on here and the guppies portals just because I was playing around with this earlier. But what you would do is you would sit here and you would just copy and drag over and then we would click refresh modlets. And what this would do is it would go through the process of extracting the files for you so you don't have to do it. And the reason I'm not including it in this video is because it takes a damn long time for me. For whatever reason, it took like 20 minutes to extract and I don't understand why. It's honestly faster for me to just click this and then just say extract here as opposed to letting it do its extraction thing through this. It takes forever. I don't know why. But they're there now. And then we can activate them just by clicking on this, clicking Enabled, and then coming down to the Regrow, Random Wild Regrowing Crops, clicking Enable. But we can't use Score or the portals because we don't have Score installed. So we can click Close, and now here we go. To get it to play, we can click play. But I want to point something out that I missed earlier. So if you don't want that location, wherever you've got it installed or saying to where it's going to install, you can change it here. You can change it to your C, D, E, F, whatever drive you have. I've just got mine set to G. But now we're going to go ahead and click on play. I'm going to say yes, we want to allow it to launch. And then here we go. And it will show the sorcery background. There we go. It's simple. It's easy peasy. It's just very easy to manage your overhauls and modlets through this. It's a very intuitive tool. And I think Sphere has done a fantastic job with it. So thanks for sticking around, folks. I hope you had fun. If you liked the episode, go ahead and leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike and tell us what we can do to do better. But have fun, folks. Take it easy. And we'll see you next time.